butt over here. <laughs> Only his butt. Sit down. Sit right there. Sit down. What you asked for was just the butt. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy, and this is Butt. <laughs> butt. All right. Let's get right on into it. Today's Bible verse is John 13, 7, right? You ready to tell him? Jesus I'm answered him. Public speaking. I'm not very good, good, good at it. Uh huh. Jesus answered him. What I'm doing, you don't understand now, but afterwards you will know. So we're going to move right on into why we chose that Bible verse, and that's in the barn stalls. RJ! We had a newcomer this week to the farm, correct? We did. <gasps> I missed her. I didn't know. No, you didn't. Who's the newest addition to the farm? Sadie. Sadie. And she came with that horse. I kind of call her Molly, but long different story. Um, so, who's Sadie? It's a horse, Mom. You just said that. She, no, I said she was a newcomer to the farm. No, you said horse in there. Did I? Dang. Yes. Okay, so. Uh, a horse, folks. Shows I don't listen to myself talk. You really should <laughs> Then you wouldn't babble so much. Okay, so tell us about Sadie. You got on her, got a call. She needed a place, right? Yep. Um, he went down. He actually got a chance to say yes and no this time. And you rode her around. Yep. She did good, right? Yep. Okay, you brought her home because we are kind of trying to downsize and watch um, what we're uh, bringing into the farm. Yep. So... You got her home. Yep. You. She did great that night, right? It stormed. Yep. It was raining. I mean, downpouring. She did. Yep. She was a little nervous, but as all horses are in a new place. Then you found a few corks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay a few corks that sent me shopping at Paul Taylor's. Um, and we'll get into that here in a minute. So, what are her corks? Um. Well, the sales pitch was. She likes to go fast, and she doesn't stop very well. That's yep. very up front. Very up front. Goes fast, doesn't stop. Yeah, that's what this whole okay, sales pitch was. She goes fast, and she doesn't stop. Very well. No, very, not very well at all. It takes a little while to get her stop. Okay, so tell us about how this, how she proved them right. Yep, she does not like to stand by herself. Not at all. Mm -mm. She's, uh, we call it buddy sour. Mm -hmm. um, so she's never been without anyone else. Um, and all of our horses... While they're allowed to be in a herd most of the time and, and smell other horses and talk to other horses. You can lead them away from the other horses. Yes. We want them to be able to go and do their job because there's only one horse out there in the arena at the time. So, how did you find out that she... What is her corks? Fill us she in. She likes to run off. She will run off. Yep, she just likes to be like, no, oh, I don't want to do this. You tie her up and she's like, eh, I don't want to stand here. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Pulls back, tries to snap things, right? Okay, so how does she do with hobbles? Because normally to teach them to stand, we've even gone through this with Coop, it kind of as a training tool, you can hobble their back legs, and at one point Coop would kick in the trailer all the time. And she was tearing shoes off, was going to hurt herself, that kind of stuff. So we would hobble her in the trailer, and then she would stand and not kick. So, and then over time, she just learned not to kick in the trailer right Good. okay so those videos about that are what two years ago maybe yeah, well, it's been a while two three years she's went through this phase where she wanted to kick everything so um yeah sadie um uh, you her. tied her up and hobbled her to teach her to stand okay no, I just it, it doesn't hurt them to hobble them it's just something around here something like around here. Handcuffs on yeah it's like putting a handcuff on but you yeah. don't do it tight i mean you just so that they can move, but they can't run. Really. Right. I mean, like, like. Okay, you, so you left her hobbled, and what happened? I look up, and she's running off. She's hopping. Yeah, hopping. <laughs> if you've hopping. ever seen a horse hop, it's not natural. No, it's not. She's just going <laughs> at a high rate of speed, too. I mean, like I'm jogging, trying to catch up to her. <laughs> All right. So I unhobble her once I get her caught. And I walk her back. Okay, now she her. goes fast, and he almost yeah. couldn't catch her, and so yeah, she fast doesn't stop. Yeah. Then moves quick. So I, uh, I got 
me another piece of another tie string. I'm, you know, I'm braiding one out here. See. And you'll hear why right. here in a minute. Yeah. I get me another one out, and I'm thinking, all right. So we hobble them, and you I'm like, hobble how many legs this time? This time I hobbled three feet. Okay. Thinking, so all right, she's got three feet tied together. Surely she can't run off. She just can stand there. Yeah. It, it's just she's a got two trick. feet hooked to the front. Two feet or front feet are tied together. And then, and then I've got one back to... foot crossed, like the rope runs across her. So when she pulls on it, it like just... her back right foot pulls her left front foot. Yeah. So, so thinking, she just right, can't run off. She can't run off. She's stuck here. Well, I got my rope a little long, and I look up and she's hopping. With three feet at a time. Because she can kind of get like a little bit of a lunge. Like she can come up. And she has to push off the back feet to get the front. It was a little long. All right. So I slowed her down a little more. (laughs) She's not slow. Let me tell you. So. So she's not slow and she doesn't like to stop. No, she she doesn't. So Um, I bring her back the second time. And I get it shorter. And she kind of hops around a little bit. And then she stops. And she stops. So I bring her back out in the middle. And I get it just a little bit shorter. So now she, I know she's kind of sort of knows what's coming. She's understanding what yeah, she's yeah. supposed to do. I get it a little bit shorter, get it tied up, get it put there. And I mean, she's kind of like, she, one, I leave her, one and she hop. one hops, and she quits. I mean, quits. Just done. Cold turkey. Just decided she was done. I was like, okay, cool. So go I leave her there for a few minutes. Go just back out there. Go back out there. And. On her one jump, she's gotten it wrapped again around her foot, where it's her cutting the circulation off to her foot at the moment. So, so RJ had to cut it. Uh, yeah, I it safety cutting. first. Safety so I ended up first. cutting it off of her because I couldn't get it. She couldn't, admit, couldn't get it untied. You can't make the horse stand. She's now fussing. Yeah. You know, she realizes he's trying but, to take it off. Yeah. And it just so he ends up cutting it. Hence, yeah. he is now making a new tie string. <laughs> but on the right side. When I cut it, she still was standing. She stayed there. She stayed there. Yeah, I got so so. She may have learned her lesson. Yeah, and but dollars in parachute cord here. True, true to the word, she's fast and she doesn't, doesn't like stop. stop. Nope. Now after, um, all of that. Now we've you've ridden her two days, correct? Yeah. Today you went out there and you actually used her to yeah. what? Sort some kips. Yes, and she was fine with that. She is just an antsy, fidgety. I think she's been let get away with things. Get away with things. So as she's learned that as her habits, it's hard to break. Um, but there are tricks that we will use to break them now that we know that there's an issue. The hobble we probably will stay a little bit away from. Tonight we just tied her out for, what, an hour? Yeah. And just let her fuss. Just let her fuss. Um, let her fuss it out and figure out that fussing is not going to make a response from us. Yeah. Um, we want her to do what she needs to do because we need her to do it. And that's, she'll learn that with time. She's only how old? Three. Three. So she's, she's still young and green and probably hasn't been broke even a year. Yeah. You know. So you can see good traits in her. She has been mm-hmm. broke well. She just needs ground manners. That That's the thing. And... She just needs manners, period. And honestly, that's what I do, is I'll have her, if he'll leave her up and I have time after I get off work, I will go out and uh, make her behave. Um, it's just one of the things that I've always, even Kavayu, that's, you know, I do a lot of groundwork with them, so she'll get it. It's just going to take time, and yeah. So, that's Sadie, huh? Yep. And she's kind of a wild woman. <laughs> she doesn't know what we want from her. She'll figure it out, though. Yeah, she'll get that. All right, anything else in the barn stalls? Hedgehog is doing good. He's still hissy, but he's doing good. He opens up in my hand some and walks a little bit. Um, the part that's bad is when I'm at work, like I leave Sunday night tonight. That's why this is kind of going to be short. Um, I leave tonight and I won't be back until Tuesday night. So during that time, he's not handled. So it's almost like, I don't know how long a hedgehog's memory is, but he seems to forget and kind of got to start all over. When I'm doing it every night, he does good. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. There's not a whole lot going on. We had a lot of personal stuff. We really didn't have barn stuff going on or anything like that, did we? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll move right on into it. Y'all know that I was gone. Oh, wait. In the yarn farm, we do have one thing. Um, we are going to do... We did our drawing for the little book. With Whopping the, three entries. We had three entries. It's got the pattern so in the back. So three entered... Now is the suspense time. There was a one in three chance it was There was you. a one in three chance, and this is the yarn. Mm-hmm. And 
Um, we so did old fashioned way. We people. just picked a name out, okay? So. Yeah. So for all you folks that entered, here's, here's this, this, this drum roll. No, that's not a drum roll. This know. is a drum roll. Uh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So, and the winner is. Do you remember? I think it's some little farm over in Missouri. Some little farm. What does that say right there? Little Creek Homestead. Yeah. I believe they're like a little bitty farm over in Missouri, I think. Little Creek Homestead. Fire yeah. for Little Creek, maybe? I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they got a creek. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You have how not many a days? chicken dinner, though. No. How many days to respond? 21. They do not have 21. I don't. To next Sunday, we need to hear from you by next Sunday. Little Creek Homestead. Sunday after Thanksgiving, You can folks. email RJ at rj at barnontheweb.com or any of the major way. I think she actually has my phone number. Text me, call me, email me. However, you guys know who you are. And I'm super excited because you know what? If she claims this prize, I'm just going to drive it down. It's an excuse to go see her and see him. So anyway, yeah. Great. Okay. There's some big news out of the way. Um, so you had a, you weren't here to podcast last time because you were on a formal date, I guess you'd call it. You had a formal thing to do with your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So how'd that go? Wonderful. He hated it. She loved it. But it was part of being a couple, correct? He got a haircut for it. He shaved for it. Not that he's, he's now letting it grow back out. (laughs) So... All right, then when we got this colt in, I had to go and replace some tack. Did I not? Yep. So I went down to Dallas Fort Worth. Y'all knew I was going to the ballet. I went to opening night of the Nutcracker Suite. Jesse did amazing. I loved it. My favorite little ballerina. Um, spent the weekend with her. Met up with um, some friends from school. Had a great weekend. On the way home, what did you ask me to do? Stop and get some stuff from Paul Taylor. So Bob Taylor's is a leather shop down in Texas, and they have affordable stuff. They don't put it out. They've got fancy. Don't get me wrong. They've got an entire section of fancy. But then they have the everyday brake colt, cowboys, things that get tore up constantly that are affordable. So RJ said he needed bell boots. (laughs) So being in true mom fashion, he didn't say what color. He just said medium bell boots. These are bell boots. And they're a medium. They're a medium. But they're pink and purples and blues. And yeah, I had fun with that. (laughs) The price isn't dependent on the... They're all the same price. I could have gotten black or white or what. And I thought... That would have been too simple. That would have been too simple. (laughs) So I got... And they're purple on the inside too. I don't know. Purple is kind of showing up blue in there, but... It is purple. It's pink and purples, but it does have some like um, aqua blue right up here. So, what else did I pick up, son? Some head stalls and some reins. Well, show them, Jen. I already put that one on that one. Okay, well, he's already put one together because one is so limber. It's been broke once and re sewed and all that stuff. But um, so, this is the head stall so that when the horse pulls back, you know, they snap these a couple of times. The one that we have is has been cut off and sewn in here. Um, I picked up two of those and then I picked up two of these reins uh, with a quick snap on them. And then I got, grab one of those other things I got. I picked up four, grab the purple one too. No. Okay, I so I got uh, rope halters more. with lead ropes on them. And I got two pinks and two purples, but one is for his sister for Christmas. So, yeah. She asked for a lead up. She did. She asked for a horse care package. Um, Her stuff is starting to get older. Um, She only has one lead rope, and she's got Murphy the little donkey and her horse. So, one lead rope doesn't really cut it for two animals. And that's our thing is we like to have extras around. And ours are just getting strained. Um, RJ, hand me that back real quick. That, no, just hand me the lead rope, not the lead rope, the head stall. The, not, halter, halter, the part you're swinging around. And I said, hand it back. Okay, so inside this is a, um, this pink stuff is woven over a uh, cotton cord. And this, if it gets nicks or rips in it, 
it will split and then it just leaves a cotton cord which makes a soft spot so that the horse can break it more. Together it's really sturdy and stiff but over time they, they get out. yeah they just wear out and they get and you can see even on this one there's little loops and snags and that's probably from us dinking around here they didn't have it I looked um, when they're I cheap. bought them they're, they're, they're cheap but that's why they're cheap but they last a long time we have some that we can use on the hold, older horses that have those uh, nicks and stuff on it correct yeah. and because they don't pull back they don't break that's a nice one too yeah and I've got a nice leather one and um, I think I've got a, a purple I think Vayu's got a purple um, nylon halter we have nice stuff but when you're breaking colts and I've got two more colts sitting out there it is Nice work. Uh, he knows I'm coming in here in a little bit, so he's calling to see if I've left yet. Um, that's my guy I take care of. So, um, anyway, those things just happen, and we just, every once in a while, have to go through and do that. And if you've ever bought a halter, no, I didn't pay 20 bucks for the halter and the lead rope and all that. It Paul Taylor's is very, very cost effective, and if you have horses at all, you need to, and that's all they do is horse tech. They don't do. He left me a voicemail. He's calling to say, when are you coming? Tell him whenever you get there. Um, sorry. Uh, but I think they have an online kind of shop, but not online has everything that they have. And so they're very affordable, especially with the leather and the halters. They've got people that braid them and make them right there. Um, and the reins. So, yeah, and they do saddles and all that, too. I just, we have enough saddles. We've got enough, you know, of this, that. We actually have an old broken saddle that we use for the Colts. First time we put them on, let it buck, and it'll roll on it. It'll break it. It's not a big deal, right? I'll sell you some last one. You guys yeah. want my saddle? I'll sell you some. I can find saddle. Yeah, but anyway, Paul Taylor's down in Texas, um, and I think it's called just Paul Taylor Saddle Company or something. If you guys have horses, we truly believe that they have the most affordable prices, okay? And they're really old-fashioned, so you can just call them and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for, and they will talk to you and tell you about it. Why are you being so lovey on me? <laughs> Why are you being so lovey, huh? <laughs> Isn't he so cute? Okay, get off me now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, stop. Stop. Anything else? We just had a lot of personal stuff going on. Klitschklingel uh, Macht is coming up. I will be going to that, so expect that stuff to come up. I am going, yes. So, and this year it looks like I'm going with friends. Ooh, oh, I have gosh, friends. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have friends um, that are going. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Any prayers You're answered. shaking the camera. <laughs> He's like, thank okay. you, folks. Thank you. He went for years and years, and, and he will go if no one else goes with me, but, yeah. I love you, too. All right, anything else that's gone on around here? Oh, the truck. Thing. Yeah, no, there was the truck. So, what's with the truck? They okay, so blah. first, there's two, there's two things, two different trucks. One doesn't belong to us. What happened while you were putting the hat? I got a truck stuck. And it wasn't our truck. No. <laughs> and just you had to pull up. it out with a big old tractor. Yeah, you'll borrow another tractor and pull it out. Sorry for the big enough. Yeah. But he was moving around hay down for the um, cattle, oh. correct? Well, we didn't say what was wrong with them. Why they had to have around hay for them. Oh, I did. You see, you, you skipped didn't. over that. I, I didn't. She I got impatient all... because somebody has to go to work. Work, 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 work. All we ever do around here is work. I know. And I actually do like my job, though. So, uh-oh. We're not fussy. We're... There it goes. <gasps> I'm fuzzy! You're moving too fast. Calm. Calm. The camera can't keep up. Okay, so... And there it goes again. Um, why did we have to have hay? Because I got home from work, and I literally ran to town before things closed to get what? What did I have to get? Corrid. Corrid. Corrid is a medication that you can buy. It's... Um, we got a gallon. I believe it's over the counter, but I get it from my vet, so I don't know. Um, I don't think you need a prescription for it. But, I don't think so either. Um, okay, so anybody know about coccidiosis? No, they should have to know about coccidia. Coccidia, yes. Yeah, because anything can carry coccidia. Yes. 
Okay, so explain how this works, and you need to remember to get louder. Remember, they have a hard time hearing you. And this is education. You guys can hear me now. Okay, so why did I have to run and go get cord? Because a bird pooped in some water, and then the cows drank it. They drank the water, not the poop. Technically, they got a particle of poop which had coccidiosis in it, so. Coxidia. Had coccidia in it, which gave them coccidiosis. Yes. So Birds carry coccidia. And which, when they poop, poop in our water, water supply. And when we say birds, we're not talking about the chickens. We're talking yeah. about sparrows and blue jays and, and while geese. Basically, geese and ducks is what the main yeah. carriers are. So um, while these geese are ones, migrating yeah. south, they stop in the pond and they play and they swim and they poop. poop. So and then the cow comes by and drinks the water and boom. So now coccidia have, of the birds turns into coccidiosis, coccidiosis in the cattle, which causes what? What was the symptom you saw? Blood in their stool. Mm-hmm. So they get poopy, blood. bloody poopy. Yeah. Whatever you want to say. However you want to say. And um Red so, poop, that's basically what you're looking for. Yes. And so how did you treat them? I went and got it's a gallon jug, looks like a milk jug almost, tall gallon jug of this yellow stuff called cord. It stinks and tastes terrible too. I don't know about tasting it, so. It smells terrible, and anything that smells <laughs> it terrible smells can't terrible. taste good. Mm-hmm. Really, I don't think it tastes good because some cattle don't drink very good the they first don't, day. They don't. The first day, they will hold off and hold off and hold off. Into it. But we had to pin them up. Yeah, you lock pin them up. All the, and put them on one water trough. Mm-hmm. And in this well, water they trough. They sell a crumble that you can feed them to, but we've always used the water because it's a better... It's a, yeah, it is. Better treatment. Plan. Well, first off, it their stool will get runny, so they'll get a little bit of diarrhea, so they'll get a little dehydrated, so they're going to want to go to drink. Cattle will go off feed before they go off water, so we know that they'll drink water. So we pinned them up, gave them a bale of hay, RJ got the truck stuck, then he went out and dumped all the water troughs and filled, filled one. Tank. And he treated it with parts per million, whatever, on the backs of the thing and uh yeah they all drank pretty good and they're not out yet are they no, they have to do it for five days yeah a full five days so we a did it at night days. so that means that day doesn't count yeah so um yeah so now yeah. after their five days they will what go back out and be fine yeah. and they're fine right now yeah i mean they're fine i mean they just don't yeah now they're still just on treatment yep so all right and the other truck Oh, it broke. I broke it. Actually, if you remember, a year or so ago, we had an issue with the truck where we kept taking it to the mechanic and it wouldn't mess up for him. So he couldn't find anything wrong. It wouldn't go over 65. Well, we've been waiting for it to show us something. He said, just wait till there's something else that happens and then we'll be able to pinpoint what's going on with this truck. Something else happened. Yep. What happened? He gave us a light. It gave There's us a, a light. light. At the There's time. a light. This is service your engine, and now it won't go over 55. Right. So. so tomorrow morning, what's your first phone call going to be to? The mechanic. The mechanic, the and the, the mechanic and phone. Ollie will be back in the hospital to be repaired. Yep. <laughs> yep. So yeah. All right. Other than that, we just have Thanksgiving coming up. I did some grocery shopping today. We're having so ham and folks, turkey, regular thing. Enjoy yes. the little things. Yes. Don't cuss out the person Enjoy driving Enjoy the little things. That would be RJ. Wouldn't be you. You're calling me a big thing. Yes, yes, I am. You're the big thing in my life. See? That could be taken so many ways. Take it however <laughs> you want to take it. The shoe fits, you might as well wear it. I'm a big girl. Or I'm a big girl. Big attitude. <laughs> I mean, you're a big part of my life, but however oh, you want. Oh, hey, I like that one. I am. But however you want to take that. But however you want to take that. I mean, you can take it any way you want it. So you're not thankful for me because I'm a big thing, but I have right. to be thankful for you because you're a little thing. Well, I mean, if I'm not a big part of your life, I'd rather be a little part than that, not a part. So I mean, you are my whole life. Then I guess you don't have to be thankful for me at all, then, because we're only supposed to be thankful for little things. <laughs> So I'm says, thankful for him every day. No matter how much he irritates me, no matter how much he gets on my nerves. Or how much I'm a jerkwad. I did call him that today. <laughs> okay, so let me explain the life with RJ. 
<laughs> RJ watched me get out of the car. I said I had to take him to the bank <laughs> because the truck is now broke, so he didn't have transportation to town until we get it looked at and figure out if it's going to make it worse driving it. So he says, Mom, can you take me to the bank so I can do this? I said, sure, just jump in the car. i got to get gas anyway. Um, so he watches me take out of my purse. My car will hold 20 to $30 depending on the price. Sometimes it's 18 sometimes it's 22 So I take 30 He's laughing because he knows what he did. He watches me take $30 out of my purse, and I said, I'm cold. I had forgotten my co my coat here because we were just going to run to the bank, but I had to get gas. So he says, well, I'll pump the gas. So he's out there pumping the gas, and he watches me walk in with $30. No change. I have a console full of change. So I look out at the pump, and pretty soon I see him do this. <laughs> and I'm going, okay. So I step up to the counter to pay. He pumped $20.20 into the tank. <laughs> Not even an even dollar. He knew I had that 20 and that 10. Well, I couldn't go like two or three cents because then they might just give you a couple pennies. I had to make sure it was just enough where they wouldn't give it to you. <laughs> so he comes walking in the door like he's something. <laughs> Big old grin. And the lady goes, 20, 20. I look and I said, you jerkwad, give me 20 cents. <laughs> You just called your son a jerkwad. I was like, give me 20 cents. <laughs> he pulled change out of his pocket, gave 20 cents, laughing the entire time. Actually, I gave you 21 cents because I'm an overachiever. Yeah, he did. He's an overachiever today. He gave me 21 cents. And the girl put the one penny in the little thing for the next person that needed a penny. I'm an overachiever. <sighs> he actually went to work today on his day off. Yeah, I didn't get the memo. He didn't get the text, so. I'm an overachiever right. today, folks. Anything else? Don't forget, if you are... Little Creek Homestead, I better be hearing from you um, by next Sunday. Don't forget. Sunday the, let's do it this way because we're not, I, I know that sometimes she runs a little bit behind, so it would be Sunday. December 1st. No, it wouldn't. I can't get my calendar to come up. I know, that's why I said December 1st. Oh, it does. It is December 1st. <laughs> it really is. Oh, okay. I was thinking today yeah, was the 23rd. I'm awesome. So, I'm awesome. You're oh, yeah. awesome. Okay, so it. Vicki, December 1st. Get a hold of me before December 1st. You can text me, email me, you have my number, all that stuff. If you send me an email, I might not respond right away because I'm terrible at getting back to you on emails. He, he is. That's like the worst way to get it. But she's got my um, cell phone number. I once had a lady call me because she sent me an email like a week and I hadn't responded. To it. And she was starting to get nervous. Yeah. Because I never checked my email. Yep. Unless so, somebody tells me to check my email. That, yeah, you have to tell them. Check your email. I sent you something. Yeah. So, somebody called anyway, me. Hey, I emailed you this. Okay. So, How do I get anyway, she has tons of way to get a hold of us um, through the web page, my cell phone, whatever. We got um, telephones. Yeah. We have okay, smoke signals. We do no, smoke I'm signals. not doing smoke signals. Okay. Oh, God. I don't know what I ate, but boy. Yeah, I shouldn't ask for his butt over here. He well, did it in my stinks. car, too. Get out the car. Okay, on that note, we are done. We will see you next time on the car. Holy crap. <laughs> He's <this> dying. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow, that was terrible, folks. Say goodbye. <laughs> I'm about to die. I killed myself. I intoxicated myself. Help us help. Goodbye. I'll bring a light of match. We'll blow up. <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.